everyone, this is Angeline Ryan with LostReviews.com here at South by Southwest again for another film review called Prince Avalanche. This is a film uh, starring Paul Rudd and Emile Hirsch, and pretty much that's it. Directed by David Gordon Green, and this is a, kind of a character study, slow burn kind of film taking place in Texas in 1987 after there was a huge forest fire of unknown origin, and you've got two guys working on re, uh, repainting the lines on the road. That is their sole job, and they have a lot of downtime to just sit and talk and converse with each other. And Paul Rudd is dating the older sister of Emile Hirsch, so that's their connection there. And Emile Hirsch is, in this character, on the borderline of being mentally retarded. <laughs> uh, and this is kind of like a smart guy's dumb and dumber. And I really, really like this movie. I would uh, not have thought to compare it to that at all. Yeah, it's, it's a smart person's dumb and dumber. Uh, it's there's not very much going on in this film. No. Most people will find it boring. There are yeah, there but this is my kind of comedy. It's amazing. It's heartfelt and just incredibly intelligently funny. It's intel. It's it's almost like hard to call it a comedy because there's only little parts of it that are funny. It has a very serious tone to it the whole time. Paul Rudd. This is a serious role for Paul Rudd. Yeah, and it's one of the best movies that Paul Rudd's ever made. It's actually. Emil Hirsch is the one making more of the jokes because he's kind of this young jokester kid who doesn't have like his head on straight and he does he needs to get in line. Yeah, well he just he worries about every weekend uh, getting off work. They're very isolated up here in the forest painting these uh, lines on the road. They're camping out every night. They don't see anybody. Mm -hmm. So he's he's extremely worried every single day about how his weekend's going to go. Yeah. Am I going to get laid? Am I going to get laid? That's all Emil Hirsch's probably character every is thinking. Guy that age. Yeah. This is actually based off, uh, it was actually a remake from a, f a Finland film. So it's a very, si it's a very similar story. It, it kind of is uh, ironic that they were able to tie it into a real event taking place here in Austin. And then last, I think it was last year, David said that there was actually a forest fire, that, that they, that's actually where they went out and filmed where this was taking place because the, the woods were all burned down and there was just the moss growing back in. And the scenery in this film is absolutely gorgeous because you've got these like stale dead trees from miles and miles and then they're painting this road and then you kind of see the greenery coming back in just with the, the moss and the grass a little bit. So it's like just like the new life is just now starting to come back into this world. Yeah, the, f the first thing that they went to find and for this film was the location. Mm -hmm. And uh, without the location, the film, I don't think, works uh, but without Emil Hirsch and Paul Rudd the film definitely doesn't no, work it does. I mean, the it charisma like between those two is mind-blowing they were a fantastic duo together right yeah you could almost think that they're related by the way that they behaved with each other they have to be the kind of people who after seeing this after doing this film they have they probably keep a connection together because it just seems like they really got along yeah I think Emil Hirsch is doing some of the best work that he's done in his entire career. I he know. never makes bad decisions. No. Uh, last year, I loved him in Killer Joe. Uh, Into the Wild is absolutely one of my favorite yeah, films. Yeah, and th this film's a lot like Into yeah. the Wild. Imagine Into the Wild with uh, just a retarded person. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what this film is. He's not retarded. Uh, he's, he's not just very a smart. young, dumb kid who just thinks about, you know, getting laid every weekend i mean just yeah. like every guy who's 20 or 21 so yeah but he can't do math math without his uh his uh his wristwatch calculator calculator watch <laughs> well uh congratulations to all these guys i think they did fantastic yeah. this is definitely a slow burn kind of film so it's not going to be for everyone don't go into this film expecting a paul rudd comedy because that's not what you're in yeah for. paul rudd is very silent uh, they, they say in a lot of a lot of the film, let's enjoy the silence, and I, I yeah. think that's really the motto of uh, Prince yeah. Avalanche: is enjoy the silence, enjoy the film. It's one of the best here at South by Southwest, and I'm going to give Prince a Avalanche uh, four really weird trucker guys out of five. One of my favorite parts of the film is a weird, obscure trucker who comes and feeds both Emil and Paul Rudd yeah. booze on it. <laughs> Weekly basis. That really is one of the only other characters in the film is an old man driving a truck through the road every once in a while. And a woman that doesn't talk. And a woman that doesn't talk. Really. Well, she said a few words here and there. Yeah. But, um, I really, I found no flaw in it. I got to go ahead and just give it a five out of five here because Whoa. it's just, it's flawless in everything it was trying to achieve. It's not going to be for everyone, but that's, that doesn't mean that it's not worth that five out of yeah, five. Yeah, you have to see this movie. Uh, it's my favorite film of South by Southwest. I. Uh, 
please, please see this. Magnolia is making great films right now, and Prince Avalanche is at the top of my list for 2013. I recommend it too. Go see it. Thank you.